Hi there, my name is Jonathan Leeming. I'm an author of nine books on subjects such as anti-venom management, snake bites, spider bites, scorpion sting, bee and wasting, anaphylaxis, and risk assessment. And I'm often asked, how can we prepare ourselves in the emergency event of being bitten by a snake or a spider or even stung by a scorpion? And there's a couple of things that we need to keep in mind. There's four principles of living and working in areas where venomous animals occur, and it greatly reduces the chance of being bitten and stung by these creatures. The first principle is that our values and beliefs are often based upon what we don't know rather than what we know. And what that really means is that we owe it to ourselves, our family, and our community to understand more about the world. If we understand more about something that we're afraid of, then fear just melts away. Principle two is that their existence is vital for a healthy ecosystem. We need venomous animals in the ecosystem for it to perform at a healthy rate. And if you don't understand what the value of a snake or a spider or a scorpion is, it's not because it doesn't add value. It's because you don't know what that value is. And there's a lot that we don't understand about the world. The third principle is that our actions determine the reaction. If you want to get bitten by a snake, then try and catch it and try and kill it. And the snake will defend itself the best way it can. So just leave them alone. And the last principle is that we can coexist in complete harmony. There's no reason why we cannot have snakes in our garden, spiders or even scorpions. With a little bit of understanding, you'll learn not to be afraid of these creatures. Now, there's two things that you can take away that will help you prepare in the unlikely event of a medical emergency. The first thing you need to have is what we call an emergency response plan. And all it is, it's a piece of paper which has got the contact details and your address of your local hospital. So, in any kind of emergency, where do you take that person? And it's a vital piece of information in your time of need. The other thing which you need to put on your cell phone is the phone number of the Poison Information Helpline. Now it's a 24 hours a day, 7 days a week helpline that you can phone if you need medical advice. Asking for medical advice on Facebook is a very, very bad idea because the people that have the most to say often know the least. The Poison Information Helpline is manned by professional medical students. They'll give you great advice and if you need to be pointed to some kind of medical facility, they'll be able to help you. So there's nothing to be afraid when it comes to spiders, scorpions or snakes. It just requires a little bit of understanding. If you go to scorpions.co.za, you can download the emergency response template and the phone number of the Poison Information Helpline is 861 555-777-0861-555-777.